Let's look at another example where we want to find the area of the plane region enclosed by y equal x and y equal cubic, ro cubic root of x. So here is what it looks like and uh, this is the area that we're looking for. Of course here we cannot even write, um, uh, write off that this area is given by the integral of the absolute value of the difference of the two functions without knowing what the intersection points are. You see from the picture that these uh, two curves seem to intersect at x equal negative 1, x equals 0, and x equal 1. You can verify that by calculation because if we set x equal to cubic root of x, it's the same cubing both sides. Uh, it's the same as saying that x cubed is equal to x. Putting everything on the left hand side, we can factor out x. It's multiplied by x squared minus 1. We get this product equal to 0. x squared minus 1 factors further as x minus 1, x plus 1. And therefore, the product is 0 if one of the factors is 0. That is, if x equals 0, x equals 1, or x equals negative 1. So now, formally, um, if we follow the steps that we indicated previously, we would say that this area is the sum of the blue area and the red area. For the blue area, we have the integral from negative 1 to 0 of x minus the cubic root of x, because on that interval, x is greater than cubic root of x. And then we add to that the red area, which would be the integral from 0 to 1 of the cubic root of x minus x. Of course here you can immediately see that these two areas are actually equal to each other, the red one and the blue one, by symmetry with respect to the origin. In fact the function cubic root of x minus x is odd and therefore these two areas um, are equal. So we could write that just to simplify a little bit the calculation, even though this is inessential. 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of cubic root of x minus x. In other words, 2 times the red area. So now we have x to the 1 third minus x that we integrate from 0 to 1. An entire derivative of x to the 1 third is going to be x to the 4 third divided by 4 third, that is, multiplied by 3 fourths. Entire derivative of x is x squared over 2. So we get 2 times this function 3 fourths x to the 4 third minus x squared over 2. When I plug 1 in this, I get 3 fourths minus 1 half, that is 1 fourth. When I multiply it by 2, I get 1 half. At 0, the function takes a value 0, so I just get 1 half. And to conclude, I just want to point out that um, even though this method that we have been describing works systematically, it's not always the best way to go. Let's say we are looking for this particular area enclosed by um, y equal square root of x, the x-axis, a piece of line that goes through the point of coordinate 2, 0 and of coordinate 4, 2. Um, so to do that we could say, well, um, we're going to look at this area as the sum of two pieces we have this blue piece, which is really just the area under the graph of root x over the interval 0, 2. So that would be just the integral from 0 to 2 of root x dx. And then we can add this area, which is really the kind of things we've been looking at, uh, the area between two functions. Now the top function is going to be root x, and we have to find an equation of the um, line segment. This is the line segment that goes um, through 2, 0 and 4, 2, so certainly it's a line of slope 1 that goes through um, 2, 0 and therefore the equation of the line uh, would be x minus 2. So for this yellow area we could set it up as the integral from 2 to 4 of square root of x minus the equation of the line at the bottom which is x minus 2. And then we can go from there, do calculations, and eventually get the result. But this is not really the smart way to do that. 
because when you look at this area, the way you should look at it is that this is uh, that this triangle here has an area that is easy to calculate. And now the area we're looking for is the area under the graph of square root of x over the interval 0, 4 minus the area of this blue triangle. This blue triangle is a right triangle uh, that is half of a square of side 2 and therefore it has area 2. So that means that the red area is really just the area under the graph of root x over 0, 4 which is the integral from 0 to 4 of root x dx minus the area of that triangle in other words minus 2. So now all we need is an antelope derivative of root x that's x to the 1 half when we integrate we get x to the 3 half over 3 half in other words 2 thirds of x to the 3 half that we evaluate between 0 and 4 and we will subtract 2 to that. When I plug 4 in x to the 3 half I get 4 to the 1 half that's 2 that I cube that's 8 multiply by 2 thirds that gives me 16 thirds I subtract 2 which is 6 thirds and I get 10 thirds. Okay now you can Turn to the homework and then uh, do the sample quiz on areas between two curves and then the corresponding quiz.